Hey Leo, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general weekend reading, so this is for October 25th through the 27th. Uh, Leo, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. It's a three-question video read. It's 44-44. You get it within 48 hours. Everything is down below, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start here, Leo, see what we've got for you. What do we have for Leo here, the 25th through the 27th? Okay, you got a major arcana showing up there. Let's see, get some clarifiers. All right. I mean, overall, like the, the energy here is a little bit um, hectic, Leo. Um, yeah, especially Saturday, but Four of Swords is your overall energy. I feel like you're able to find clarity in this energy here even though it looks a little heavy heavy <laughs> even though it looks a little heavy just bear with me um you have this uh four of swords as your overall like i said uh you can see he's kind of resting on this sort of clarity the sort of truth so i do feel like there is a truth coming in um you know there's clarity coming in but you know, for Friday's energy, for the 25th, you have the Hermit showing up. I feel like you're going to withdraw in a situation here, Leo. It seems to me like there's something that's really stressing you out. And I feel like because of this, you're like, let me just kind of back up out of the situation, analyze it from all angles, um, you know, because you want to be sure before you make some sort of choice that's happening here. You have the Five of Swords showing up here. This can be head games. You know, it can be petty energy, someone who will win at all costs. But, you know, some of you may also be wondering, like, is this person really messing with me or am I just in my head? What's going on here? You know, let me just kind of back up for a minute. You have Nine of Swords energy showing up. Some of you, this could just be like general stress, general like mental conflict about something here. Maybe you're going through a big change. Um, but I feel like you're having to distance yourself um, possibly from maybe this is like a work group, for example, maybe you're just less talkative, or this could be um, someone that you're talking to romantically, right, or a family member. I just feel as if you're wanting some time to yourself uh, Friday here. You're trying to get away from the noise. And then Saturday, it's like, boom, <laughs> you got this eight of wands energy showing up. I feel like there's a message coming in on Saturday, possibly from a fire sign or a Scorpio, and I feel like this message is like out of nowhere. This seems like you're shocked by this message, Leo. Um, and what I feel is going on here is somebody is taking offense to you, kind of taking time for yourself. Um, you know, I, like I said, I feel like you've kind of backed out of a situation and someone is like, you know, they've, they've made up some things in their head here. Like they've drawn their own conclusions and they're certain that there's truth in those. And, oh, goodness, that's dangerous. That's a dangerous game to play. And I feel like this person's coming at you like, you know, I know that you did this because of this and you said this and that and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like there is a person here who's like uh, kind of coming at you sideways out of nowhere, Leo. And it seems like things get cleared up, I will say, um, because you got this energy for Sunday. So to, I feel like there's a long phone call here. This a page of swords energy. The swords represent communication. I always pay attention to the fact that it's like by her ear, you know. Anyhow, um, I do think that for a lot of you, there's um, like a heart to heart here type of conversation. Possibly, like I said, long phone call. Uh, you got Gemini energy here as well as air. You got fire, Scorpio, Virgo. Um, but yeah, the energy's crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy, Leo. Uh, it just seems like there's a big misunderstanding here and someone's kind of delusional. Uh, but you do, like the good news about this Four of Swords being your overall is that Friday's energy, like this five was underneath, you know, so it's like you move back from that energy of the five, which is chaos, conflict, change, to this energy of clarity, peace, balance, feeling more secure in a situation. Um, what else is going on here? I feel like some of you, there's like that Saturday energy could be somebody who's just like coming in and like being really honest with you about something, but I still feel that it's shocking to you. I still feel that it's shocking to you. What else do we have here for Friday's energy for Leo? Okay, you have the hangman and you have the six of wands. Ooh, I feel like there's something happening for you that you've been waiting on, okay? And I think that that's why this mental conflict is showing up. For some of you, you could have some people who are like, are you sure about that? And they're questioning things. Or you could have some people who are kind of like discouraging or maybe even a little bit envious. Um, but you may feel like you're not getting the reaction that you should be getting out of people. You know, you could be feeling like they, sh they should be supportive of, you know, what I have going on right now and they're not. Uh, some of you, you may have people around who are not saying anything during like a really big um, 
victory in your life and it's just kind of odd it may be rubbing you the wrong way so i do see you kind of stepping back from some folks here and trying to analyze things and figure out am i tripping or am i not you know is this really how this is um so yeah i do see a victory coming in for you but i see you kind of backing up from some folks here um temporarily what's going on with this energy saturday can we get some more clarity on saturday's energy oh man that's been a lot of build up this, this has been a lot of build up, whatever this tower is. Again, I still see you talking about this, talking this through with whoever this is here, but yeah, that moon card can be hidden things, deep emotions, and this Knight of Pentacles is something that like has taken a long time to come up. I feel like this has been bubbling to the surface for this person for a while. Um, some of you, this could be a confession of some deep romantic feelings. That could be the case here. Uh, this could be someone that you've had a tower with. Maybe you've had an ending with this person. But for others of you, I do feel like this is a person who's got some... Um, like hidden jealousy towards you you know it might be a pisces cancer got virgo energy here again um but yeah leo I, either way it goes whether this is a person misreading you or whether this is a person who's jealous of you and they've got a lot to say uh or whether this is a person who's got a lot of feelings uh that they've hidden for you that are coming to the surface finally i feel like this message kind of shocks you you don't really know what to do with it right it's that kind of energy here but i think sunday there's some more clarity on that with all the with um the two of cups the lovers i mean it just seems like there's more clarity on this here yeah, I feel like you're restructuring here. Um, the thing about this energy is that, again, I feel like there's been some sort of misunderstanding here surrounding deception. For some of you, I do feel like you're going to continue a connection with a person who may have um, misread you or gotten the wrong idea, but I still feel like you're going to keep an eye on them. You're going to keep an eye on them because it's just kind of odd how they perceive that situation or how they perceived you. So yeah, you got the hair font here as well, which can be like um, tradition, structure, uh, you know, it's like a card of commitment you know i feel like you're committing to a new beginning um you know with this friendship romantic relationship family member whoever it may be however you know i will say with that seven of swords energy here you're definitely keeping a close eye on whoever that is okay um some of you this could be a taurus or maybe somebody who has their moon in taurus or rising in taurus or aquarius but yeah the energy is who here leo especially saturday um so good luck with that um i hope this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be leo details are down below for anybody who is interested in personals like i said it is a three question video read it is 44 44 you get it within 48 hours everything's down there but if this is where we part thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you and hopefully i'll see you next time bye